We are in Cape Town, South Africa. We get salmon, swordfish, butterfish, but rich on a smaller portion of the tomatoes, it's about oily, yellow for the tuna, calamari, the yellow tuna is quite gamey, strong for flavor. We have the langoustine, and we do have the king pole. We are in Bokov. It is the oldest residential area in Cape Town. There are nine mosques in the area because there's a huge Muslim population. Good morning from Cape Town, South Africa. We just parked our car at Kluth Neck Car Park and we're gonna take a free shuttle bus to go up to Table Mountain. We're here at Table Mountain. It's one of the new seven wonders of nature. So the floor and the cable car rotates around so everybody gets a view while going up or down Table Mountain. It's a pretty cool concept. It's a Table Mountain, 5,500 feet in the air, and it's super bright, very sunny. Make sure you wear your sunscreen. Table Mountain is a flat top mountain overlooking Cape Town and is a famous tourist attraction. It's often covered in clouds, giving it the nickname the Tablecloth. Table Mountain is a beautiful place to check out when you're in Cape Town. We do recommend for you to buy your tickets online so you don't have to buy tickets on the day of and wait in a long line to get that. And we also recommend for you to go super early in the morning. You do want to go on a clear day so you can see the beautiful views of Cape Town. It's 9, 19 a.m. on Sunday morning, and Table Mountain has gotten a lot busier. We're done with our hike around Table Mountain. We've been walking for about an hour. <laughs> 3,600 steps changes. later. And now we have reached the cafe at Table Mountain, where you can get coffee, pastries, refuel. Cape Town. It's a beautiful day. People are out. They're jumping in the water. It's January, which is awesome. And there's a bunch of seaweed. I've seen kids pick up starfish and a whole bunch of other sea life I've never seen before. So it's actually pretty awesome here. How's ostrich? What's it taste like? at Boulder Beach. This is the largest and only colony of penguins outside of Antarctica.
mating. We are on our way back to Cape Town from Boulder Beach and I just want to mention entry costs 120 Rand per person. So we're at Victorian Alfred Food Market. We just ordered Springbok, which is kind of like a deer, but here in South Africa, I'm pretty excited to see how it tastes. This is the Springbok loin. The first phase will take place here in Maximum Security Prison where the ex-political prisoner will tell you more about his life experience. Manila. I'm from Yudmeg in the Eastern Cape. I was arrested in 1978. 77 and sentenced in 1978. I was charged with terrorism and... Uh, what is this? We are walking around the maximum security area of the prison complex. This is Nelson Mandela's prison cell. So we're here on Robin Island. We just had a break from our bus tour. Here's our bus right here. It's a pretty awesome little spot. We got the views of Cape Town over here. And we highly recommend this tour. Our tour guide is very funny. To Alpha One, they were first used to accommodate the wardens with their families, but now they are used to house the staff of Robben Island, including the ex-political prisoners with their families. We just got done walking at the B&A waterfront. It's actually pretty awesome. We had a good time. There's a lot of good places to eat. Morning from Johannesburg, South Africa. We were driving to Lime Safari Park. It's about an hour drive from Johannesburg. It's a beautiful morning. You know, I'd just like to say that I've been driving on the opposite side of the road the entire day today and I haven't really messed up. Like yesterday I was all over the place, we almost hit a truck, like an 18 wheeler, but today I've been doing pretty darn good. But we're only about halfway there, so we'll see what happens. We're at Lion and Safari Park. We are gonna pet some lion cubs. And then in an hour and a half, then we're gonna go on a mini safari. Oh. <laughs> We got here super duper early. We we're first in line for the lion cubs to play with them. And now that we have some free time, we're gonna walk around. Apparently there's giraffes here and other animals. We saw some meerkats. 
Got some hydro racks. <laughs> and this is just the free area of the Lion and Safari Park. You don't even have to pay for safari. So it's really cool that they have these areas where they have little animals to look at for free. Guy's name is George, and the wife, her name is Rialda. George and Rialda.